My name is Shivnarayan Ramcharan, and I attend Atlanta Metropolitan State College via the Year Up program. This program assigns each student a program manager who serves as a professional development coach, a cheerleader, and an accountability partner. The support I receive on a daily basis from my program manager, Ms. Pamela Hill, gave me the impetus to push through any academic and non-academic difficulties I may be facing. My experience so far in the program is what gave me the trailblazing idea for Atlanta Metro to institute a big sibling program. The program will be simple. Atlanta Metro should encourage alumni to mentor current scholars. For students attempting to balance school, work, a job, family, and a social life can be extremely stressful. But I know that having someone in your corner who has been in your shoes and has achieved what you're currently pursuing will be a tremendous help. You'd have somebody you could directly relate to. Not everyone has family and friends who have been to college, and even if they do, they might not receive the much needed support from these individuals. The Big Sibling program will be volunteer based and ran by the alumni department, of course. If the graduation rate increased, then the program will be deemed successful. Thank you and go Trailblazers. Hi, I am Jamie Butler, an instructor of freshman English composition 1101 1102 at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. I am representing the School of Social Sciences and Humanities, uh, the English department within that school. And I am here to pitch an idea for a writing center at AMSC. So we want to encourage the schools to implement a writing center because number one, it will decrease our DFW rates. Uh, we do have a tutor.com that we do use for students, and but we have not seen any significant decrease with those rates. And so when we have a writing center, what happens is we have, li we have live people, we can do that virtually, and we can do it in person with the tutor sessions, but we have faculty members that are familiar with the college culture, uh, the, the the culture of the campus, excuse me, also the students and their assignments that they have uh, assigned. It will, incre it will decrease the DFW rate. Tutor.com has been good as far as being a general tutor database that students can um, go through. However, um, having faculty members tutor the students, they have a um, they have a rapport with the students. They know the college uh, culture. They're familiar with the, co the students' assignments. And so they're able to have a, a, a deeper insight into what the student needs are to strengthen their writing skills. Um, as far as the cost uh, we will be able to curb the cost because we will use the English faculty members initially we can do that by rotating their hours weekly based on their office hours um, and we will only have one person that will structure that schedule for the faculty members to uh, be the tutors we also know that schools in our sector, they have writing centers as well, and they have evidence where it has decreased their DFW rates and increased their matriculation and matric uh, retention rates. And so we seek to do that. We seek to help students um, understand and realize that they have a partner going through their college journey. And when they realize that they have that partner, are aware of what that partner um, when they're aware of how their partner will help them along their journey, then we're able to retain them easier, and then we'll see them graduate with their degrees. Um, also, writing across the curriculum is very important because we need students to be able to articul articulate themselves to bankers when they go ask for those loans to um, open their new open their businesses as entrepreneurs. We need them to be able to articulate themselves clearly to their patients when they're doctors and their nurses. And even we know in the current pandemic, with COVID-19, our science department was working on different aspects of what that vaccine looks like. So we need them to be able to articulate themselves with other schools to get that information to strengthen what they're doing and collaborate effectively. So we hope that you would uh, help us implement the Writing Center AMSC. We know that we had tutors before, and when we released those tutors and we no longer were having writing tutors, we saw those DFW rates increase, and we also saw the retention and matriculation rates decrease. And so we hope that you partner with us in implementing this great idea, and thank you for listening. Greetings everyone, I am JL Wyatt and I have the pleasure of serving our students, 
staff, faculty, community partners at Atlanta Metropolitan State College as Executive Director of Admissions and Student Services. I'd like to pitch an idea that I hope you will find to use existing resources that may be um, unused or not used as much to create something that's really revolutionary and something that we see other schools in the online institution sector, uh, the for-profit sector, but the sector that has a global spreading and a global array of students use to ignite excitement, to increase enrollment, to share stories of student success. So I'd like to pitch employing or creating an Atlanta Metropolitan State College trail mobile using an existing fleet vehicle, such as one of the vans that we currently have on campus that we um, understand it may be underutilized. So what I'm proposing that we do is take an existing AMSC vehicle, pay roughly $1,000 to wrap it in the AMSC brand, to also prep it with the capability to slide the windows open, maybe even have a shade, so that we can now mobilize our recruitment efforts and mobilize our student success stories. I see this vehicle being used to take diplomas to students who may not be able to come to campus to pick them up. I see it being used as a recruitment tool, parking in the parking lot of our local high school partners on the days that AMS sees in attendance, during sporting events. I see the AMSC trail mobile riding all across Metro Atlanta and our service area, repping our brand, sharing our good news, sharing our stories, connecting with our students, and particularly in the COVID environment or as we try to get back to new normal. I think this would be a great addition into trailblazing an example for our other institutions on how we're able to mobilize and increase meaningful touch points to our students and our constituents who may be apprehensive about coming to campus, right? And so we're really literally meeting folks where they are by taking an existing vehicle, spending a, a few funds to rebrand it, and we're going to tie into not only our student success goals by doing this, right? Because again, this isn't just simply a recruiting tool, but this is a branding tool and a tool to help students who may not be able to come to campus and pick up their loaner laptop. It really is, uh, in my vision, an opportunity for us to um, hit on a lot of key targets targets and key initiatives that we're working on as an institution. I want to share with you that institutions such as Southern New Hampshire University employ such an automobile or such a, a, a transportation device as they travel from coast to coast during graduation, handing out diplomas, going to their students' homes, recording that interaction, and branding the institution as one that really cares about the success and the degree completion of their students. I want you to understand that employing this idea would help to showcase Atlanta Metropolitan State College's commitment to health and safety during the COVID-19 pandemic. As in addition to the rebranding of the vehicle, we want to ensure that it is equipped with plexiglass features, all things that we need to make sure that folks that we visit are social distancing and that our team is safely um, providing services while utilizing the AMSC trail mobile. I also want you to recognize that this may be a great opportunity to inadvertently increase our brand awareness, particularly around our local community. Just a 24 hour parking of the trail mobile in a Kroger parking lot or with our Chick-fil-A partners in their parking lot can do a significant amount into rebranding and kind of recentering AMSC in the minds of patrons who are visiting those establishments. And so I hope that you have enjoyed the pitch and I hope that you will really consider taking one of our existing vans and our existing fleet vehicles and investing the resources needed to re-energize that and using that to go out and showcase our brand, showcase our brilliance, showcase our student success here at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. I thank you for the opportunity to pitch um, and I want you to have a great day. Thanks. My name is 
to Carl Combs and I am the coordinator of recruitment, retention, and testing at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. It brings us great pleasure to bring to you a presentation and proposal regarding Atlanta Metropolitan State College's first opportunity for housing. Exciting, right? Totally. Exciting! So let's get to it. Uh, one of the greatest opportunities that we have when it comes to housing is an opportunity to brand. Some great minds describe branding as an opportunity to persuade and collect the perceptions of people's thoughts in their minds. So we want to be the first thought on the minds of students when they decide that they want to attend college. One of the benefits that I really love about housing and making sure that we have that opportunity here on our campus is that it allows our students to engage with students from across the world. It allows for them to get more involved with campus activities and research also shows that students earn better grades when they attend housing and attend campus and and they are more informed and enlightened to campus activities and events so the biggest thing that we all do here at this college we want to make sure that we root our students to the end so if we have campus housing we have a greater opportunity for retention and graduation Muhammad take it from here tell them about our so we're going to talk about moving away from home. I, when kids 12 are in 12th grade, they're always talking about the college experience. And so what that really is, is, is dormitory and housing. And so now let's talk about what it costs for to build a three-story dormitory. So the information that I'm providing you today is from RS Means Data from Gordian. And so Gordian is one of the world's largest uh, provider of construction costs, software, and services. And so now we're gonna break down and see what that totally looks like. And so for a three-story uh, complex building, uh, the price for the be paid out of a union will cost around $3,576,000. And that's just for the union up front. And so we also have a construction fee with cost around $894,000. And we have a architectural fee as well that costs around $312,000. So collectively, you're looking around uh, $4 million to actually build a three-story dormitory from top to bottom. And so that's really, really colossal, but it's option A. Ms. Speller? And we also have option B, where I'll be presenting to you all about housing for apartments. So apartment style living is very popular in the college community. And what we're proposing is to actually go into the community and partner with local apartment complexes where our students can have an isolated amount of like 10 units per building with roommate style. So we have two or three bedroom options. They will have completely furnished apartments and we'll also include a shuttle service that will take our students from the campus to their housing that's located off campus and even include a route that will take them to the local shopping on weekends to get those essentials that they'll need. What this will entail is a sense of community and pride. And so what that will help our students do is actually matriculate and achieve those goals that they set as freshmen at AMSC. Thank you so much. Um, just looking at both of those options, an option C would be for us to have articulation with a neighboring college, which would allow us to use the housing that exists within one of our sister colleges in order for the student to actually use their tuition to pay for their housing at a neighboring institution. So Muhammad, if you would run through those numbers for us one more time. Absolutely, and so the first option A, uh, which would be to build uh, a college dormitory from top to bottom, brand new with a lot of uh, great amenities would be around $4 million. Uh, the second option with Ms. Speller covered would, uh, with room and board and transportation, that uh, option equates and rounds off to around $12,000. And of course, uh, option C with a housing articulation agreement rounds about $17,000. So you definitely have that astronomical $4 million, and then you have that feasible $12,000 and then uh, $17,000 with that housing articulation agreement. 
So to summarize everything that we just said today, we are very excited about offering an opportunity for housing to our students. It will help increase enrollment. It will allow for our brand to be out there, which would put us at the forefront of everyone's mind when they make the decision to attend college. And ultimately, it will provide retention and graduation for our students to launch their careers. Atlanta Metropolitan State College, we're bringing our brilliance because we know that our students are going to bring theirs. Our students are trailblazers. Our students represent generations X, Y, Z, and LMNOP. <laughs> Our students are high risk. Our students are high touch and they are brilliant. So how can we raise the bar and foster an intentional growth academic mindset? Hmm. How can we personalize a student's need to make each one reach one and become one? It's easy peasy. Mm -hmm. The answer is concierge success coaches. Hmm. You may be wondering, what is a concierge success coach? Or you also may be wondering, concierge and academia? Yes, concierge success coaches are multifunctional staff members of the CAS Student Success Team. Concierge success coaches will have the ability to provide a range of VIP academic services at the onset of a student's matriculation to maximize student learning from entry to exit. Concierge success coaches will not offer a la carte services but instead will provide a intentional and proactive academic service through early alerts, supplemental instruction, and wellness checkups. They are outreach specialists, resource gurus, and academic caretakers, as well as people who will be influential in-person bridge builders that offer real-time on-time academic, academic services. They will intentionally and proactively serve all students, but will have a specific focus on students who are in academic jeopardy and first-year freshman students, particularly those who are in gateway courses. Concierge success coaches will communicate, collaborate, and coordinate daily to promote AMSC strategic goals to prioritize RPG by maximizing student learning and engagement. They will work with advisors, faculty, and staff to provide crystallized case management approach to help the students succeed. As Provost McGee once said, let's push another student success button at AMSC now. How can I help you be brilliant? and take advantage of one of the greatest gifts in life, a college education. Who's in? Hello, Trailblazer family, and thank you for joining us for Innovation Week. I want to share with you a tremendous opportunity to enhance our program offerings as well as increase opportunities for students to increase their incomes and career opportunities. We have the opportunity to share a tremendous career opportunity in the Atlanta Metropolitan Statistical Area. There is a tremendous technology revolution going on, if you haven't heard. It is 70% of the entire United States internet commerce. And the revolution I'm talking about specific to cybersecurity, that we have an opportunity to provide a capstone course with the industry certification that can be a tremendous opportunity for persons, uh, graduates to enjoy a uh, growing income for the remainder of their work life. And in doing so, we are asking for a support of financial resources in terms of 
$2,999 and, and this is what that includes. A prospective student can enroll with us. They would enroll in the Capstone Cybersecurity course. The Cybersecurity course will provide an overview and a review of the knowledge and skills that are necessary to be a cybersecurity professional. This course was all, would also provide them access to the module where they can sit for the cybersecurity industry certification to where they could walk away with not only the knowledge and skills that are necessary to be um, uh, productive in this area, but also a recognized industry certification that they can put on the resume and of course that would speak well of their ability to perform uh, to the industry standard and again this uh, is a tremendous opportunity to tap into the technology rev uh, revolution that is happening in metropolitan Atlanta and uh, it is a tremendous opportunity to enhance our offerings and um, enrollment possibilities at Atlanta Metro uh, and so I, I did want to share with that and the cost of this again is two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars uh, that which will cover the, the course development the actual module development and marketing expenses for this new and exciting opportunity thank you Good afternoon. My name is Gabrielle Benton, Admissions Specialist at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. I bring you greetings from the Office of Admissions. I am delighted to be here today to speak about our call center proposal alongside my colleague, Ms. Kirkland. Greetings. My name is Sharika Kirkland. I am an Admissions Coordinator here at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. It is our pleasure to bring you our proposal for the Student Success Call Center. Atlanta Metropolitan State College would greatly benefit from the implementation of a call center. The purpose of the call center is to help with incoming calls, which will allow more processing time for staff members and their respective departments. The members of the call center would be knowledgeable in all areas of the institution. For example, admissions, advisement, financial aid, registrar, general information, business office, bookstore, and academic divisions, and will be able to answer all calls and questions effectively and efficiently. Yes, and training will be mandatory for all members to attend. This will be a detailed, hands-on training that covers all frequently asked questions. It is our hope that with training, all members will be educated enough to fulfill all requirements of the call center. If student success is our number one priority, then it is our belief that this will help expedite many student concerns and issues while also increasing employee morale to eliminate burnout and feeling overwhelmed. Ms. Benson, how will this proposal impact the community? Great question, Ms. Kirkland. This proposal impacts the campus community in a very beneficial way. It is our hope again that student success would be more operative and effectual if implemented. The call center would initiate growth, change, retention, as well as an opportunity for institutional advancement. Our plan is also to evaluate the effectiveness by gathering data from various departments across campus and disseminate surveys. Feedback will be used in all areas of developing and designing the call center. I know there's some costs associated with this, Ms. Vincent. Please tell us more. Of course. There will be some associated costs for the plan. It would include the salary of four part-time staff members and the implementation of the ticket system. The estimated expenses would be around $60,000 each year. Because we are a small institution, you know we have already factored in some cost-saving opportunities. The cost-saving opportunities would be using federal work-study funds, utilizing federal work-study students. Also, by hiring part-time employees, the institution would save a great deal because there will be no benefits package included. And along with that, of course, you're going to need resources. A few resources would include student workers or external candidates. Also, training manuals and materials would also be needed for all learning sessions. Additionally, 
weekly information sessions. We will develop a workflow process, escalation management, monthly data reports that reflect the volume of calls, and frequently asked questions. This proposal impacts student success because student success is our number one priority. Therefore, to aid in increasing it, a call center will improve customer service, increase campus department's overall flexibility, help manage peak times, the importance of connecting with students in a meaningful, effective way cannot be overstated. It is our belief that students who feel appreciated and respected by their institution usually perform better and succeed in their learning. Moreover, they also are able to achieve the degree they are striving for, and retention is our number one goal. The Student Call Center will serve as the face of AMSC. Our aim is to build more positive student rapport and earn our students' trust. And the million dollar question, does your plan address the USG Board of Regents Momentum Approach initiatives? Yes. The plan does address and align with the USG Board of Regents Momentum Approach initiatives. Utilizing the call centers would support students in college to reach their full potential and increase their growth mindset around academics. Additionally, it will support students in the face of challenges or setbacks. The call center would help students avoid becoming demotivated and disengaged with their academic pursuits. For example, if a student is experiencing issues in their academic focus area, the call center can help resolve their issues by submitting a help ticket to the respective departments. This concludes our call center proposal for Atlanta Metropolitan State College.